Hey friends, it's Jessie and welcome back to the channel and welcome to my 2022 Pan Those Eyeshadows finale. We have made it through another year of panning and I am excited to go over all of my progress and numbers, so let's get into it. Before we dive too far down into the rabbit hole of pans, I wanted to quick share my percentages and some numbers with you all because I never really talk about the number side of things. So in my collection, I currently have 2,923 eyeshadows. It is an excessive amount of eyeshadow, I am quite aware. Uh, and out of those, I have 32 total pans overall. And when I calculated that out percentage wise, we are at 1.1%, which I think is amazing because when I first started doing panning content, I realized that I was at like 0. 0.000 something percent. Like it took me forever to even see some sort of number shift. So I'm very excited that we actually have a tangible number for percentage. And overall this year alone, I have hit 23 of those 32 pans. So we have made a lot of progress this year. There's definitely no slowing down in the new year. I've already filmed my intro for 2023 pan those eyeshadows. So if you're not already, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss when I upload that because that is going up next week and now let's go ahead and talk about the progress of our remaining shades so we have five randomly generated shades one that I have selected for myself to work on and out of these I have hit one more additional pan this year so not a crazy exciting finale but I am excited to share my pan with you I'll go ahead and just start with that one the shade I hit pan on it comes from my Too Faced gingerbread spice palette and the shade I hit pan on is Warm and Toasty, which is this metallic gold up at the top. I used Warm and Toasty three times to hit pan on it. I was very close already. I did roll this into my project at the very end of last year, and I had five recorded uses then. But of course, at the start of every year, my project refreshes. So I finally hit pan on that shade. A lot of the shades in this palette already have a lot of use on them already. So I'd love to get some more use out of this palette as a whole in the new year. And now I'm just going to go through the remaining shades in order that they were rolled into the project. So the first shade that we have to talk about comes from my ColourPop and Kathleen Lights, the Zodiac palette. And it is this beautiful palette right here. And my shade is not in there. One second. As I was saying, the shade we've been working on is the Pisces out of my Zodiac palette. The Pisces is this really pretty teal shimmer shade right here. I used the Pisces two times over the past month for a grand total of 10 uses since rolling it in. I really wanted to roll this into my Pan Those Eyeshadows in 2023, but completely forgot about it. And I've already filmed my intro, so I don't really want to go back and redo it all. But this is definitely a shade I think I'm going to be rolling into next year's project once I work through some of those shades I initially rolled in. But I really enjoyed this shade. I didn't use it too many times this year. I mean, I've only used it 10 times. But my favorite look that I've done since last update was a graphic liner look where I used the Pisces as an inner corner and then I used another ColourPop quad for the graphic liner and I thought it was really cute. The next shade I have comes from my Melt Cosmetics Amori Mariposas palette. This was their holiday palette from last year and the shade that we worked on was Nueva Vida which is this really pretty like brick red shade. I used Nueva Vida one time over the past month for a grand total of 19 uses since rolling into the project and the one time I used it this month was as a faux liner. Overall, that's pretty much how I've been using it, is as a faux liner or a deepening up in the outer corner shade. These shades are so deep, they have embossing on it, and even after nearly 20 uses, you can still almost perfectly see that butterfly embossing. So this is definitely one that I wanted to roll out. I thought about rolling it out last update, but because we only had one more update to go, I figured I would leave it in. But as you can see, I didn't make too much progress on this shade this year. The next shade comes from my ColourPop and the Child palette. And this one was a hidden gem. I didn't think I would like using this one as much as I did, but we were using Little Frog, which is this matte green at the bottom. It's like an olive green with some sequins reflect. It's really, really pretty. And it looks a lot grungier on the eye than it does in the pan. I actually combined this with my Melt Cosmetics Gemini palette a lot. And I thought that was really pretty. I don't know if I've 
I've already stated, but I used Little Frog one time this month for a grand total of 10 uses in the project this year. I think it's a fun palette and the whole theming of the palette is just super cute. So this is always a fun one to play with. Up next, we have the Lunar Beauty Strawberry Dreams palette and the shade that I pulled in was Blue Sky, which is this electric blue matte at the bottom. I used Blue Sky one time over the past month for a grand total of two uses in the project. It is one of the newest shades I've rolled in. I rolled it in not last update, but the update before. And as you can see, I have made no progress on this shade. In fact, I don't even remember what the single use I used was. I tried to use each shade at least one time, mostly throughout the last month. I realized because I wasn't super close to hitting pan on any of the shades, I wanted to just kind of play with my makeup and kind of gauge where I was feeling with certain palettes and seeing if maybe I wanted to pull certain palettes in as like a pan that palette, all sorts of fun things. So I overall didn't get a ton of use out of it, but I'm glad that we pulled it in temporarily at least. And last but not least, we have my ABH Amrezy palette. I rolled this in last update and the shade that we rolled in is Barb, which is this really pretty light pink glittery shimmer shade. And I did not use Barbie single time since rolling it in. So it looks the exact same. I think I maybe have swatched it for swatches last video but that is where we are looking. Like I said, I've been really focusing on using just palettes that I feel like using right now because I know that starting in the new year, I'm really gonna wanna focus on panning projects. So with slowing down at the end of the year and still working on my A to Z project pan, I just wanted to give myself a little grace period and just play with some of the new stuff that I got throughout the year. That is all for today's update and finale, my friends. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me over the year. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my progress. Like I said, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out when I refresh my project in a couple weeks. And with that, I will see you guys all in the new year. Bye, friends.